What's the deal, y'all? Look, hey, we back again. We got Hong Kong Sevens Day Three highlights. Let's get to it. It looks like um, y'all know I hate these titles, bro. I hate the titles, bro. But I guess New Zealand won. They won the final. Um, but we gonna see how they got there and who they played against, man. Let's get to it. I'm assuming they probably played Ireland, but let's figure out what happened, man. Y'all know what to do. Go smash the like button. Smash on the like button, my boy. Go on ahead. When I get 100K, I'm going to stop asking. Just go on ahead. Okay, let's get to it, man. This is the men's highlights of HSBC 7's Hong Kong. A lot of upsets in Hong Kong. Semi-finals. Ireland, France. This is France with no Antoine Dupont, by the way, because he's playing in uh, he's playing in the Champions Cup for the 15s team in the club rugby, so. Which is kind of crazy to me. Like, dog, just, just, all right, dog. Hey, he just doing what he want to do out here, dog. I'm going to the 15. I'm going back to the 7s. Hey, bro, I'm going to see y'all next week, dog. Hey, look, I got more business to handle. I'm going to be back next week. Okay, I'm going to come back over here, dog. Hey, y'all need me in the final? Y'all need me in the final? Okay, I'll be over there for the final. You better give me that bonus check, too. I need a bonus check, and I need the five-star hotel. Uh, extra security. I need like three bad. I need like three bad bitches and a, and a couple tomahawk steaks. <laughs> Bro, just doing what he wanted to do out here, man. Escape. Stands in the tackle. Another offload. Oh, Zero get off him! Oh, oh, Hesse! Oh, offload! He's he jogging. He jogging to the house. The offloading game for it's a Sunday morning run. Hey, yo, watch out for this boy, though. He only 19, bro. He only 19, bro. Watch out for him, dog. He already making moves out here, for real. Big early on here in the cup semifinal. Kennedy works the short side. They got a penalty advantage. Ooh, good tackle. Free hit for the men in green. Long ball oh, sloppy pass. Board. Ward. Still made it. Hey, sloppy pass, but bro hit the skirt skirt. Skirt skirt on the east side. Hey, bro, you 19, but I'm 28, dog. I've been out here, dog. Get up out of here. <laughs> you, might be, you might be good at 19, but I'm 28, bro. Get up out of here. Hit the skirt skirt on him. Hit the, hit the under. Under Ruski. Got up on him, man. I'm pretty sure Ireland gonna win this game. If France wins this, hey, more power to y'all, bro. More power to y'all. But I'm pretty sure Ireland gonna win this one. Okay. Team up. Ooh. Oh, they missed the kick. He's held up by Roach and Ward. Perez again. Oh! He caught him napping. Chase down. Yes, he with six. And Stefan Perez used all his experience there to catch Ireland. Bro, if you don't put that ball down, dog. I ain't trying to chase you down no more, dog. Put the ball down, homie. You got the try. You got the points. Go ahead put the ball down, my boy. I'm going to run up and tackle you hard as hell just because. Even, even if you put it down before I get to you, I'm going to just crack you. Bow. <laughs> put the ball down, my boy. Sitting there playing, man. I ain't going to lie. This is the worst place to pause it at. This is, I'm sorry. No diddy, bro. No diddy. No diddy. This is the worst place to pause it at. My bad. That's just crazy image right there. Crazy image. Put the ball down. down the short side. <laughs> well, someone let the fire... Under Steven Perez before this game. He's come out absolutely rocking. That is a success story. 26 to 10. God damn. I'm telling you, bro. Antoine Dupont, 
went to France, bro, in Vancouver, and they just been different ever since, bro. He 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 must have came with a little pack. He came with the little uh, with the the secret stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just been balling, with or without him. And they do get the decision. New Zealand, good work from you, stuff. And he goes. All right, we already know New Zealand win this. Cut out ball to fire Cook Savage. Just evades the tackle of Dowling. Oh, the offloads is crazy. To get the ball. Oh. Oh, that's a run. High stepping. And Dylan Collier arrives. Yo, my boy was high stepping, dog. <laughs> she high knees. She remember that drill? My boy did the high knees. <laughs> Say, we gonna get this. We gonna get these points. One way or another. <laughs> Skip to my loo. I'm about to high knee up into in, in these points, man. Roach. Good line. Oh, front Roach. Roach. Good defense again from Regan Ware. That was great defense. Maloose there. Swings it out to Morris Longbottom. Longbottom. In there. Scores for Australia. In there. A little most in the first edition of this event last Yeah, Longbottom and Roach. Big, big try here for Australia. New Zealand attacking scrum. New start. Cook Savage. Ooh, the Cook. dummy was nice. That dummy was major look. <laughs> major look. Got him. To the house, coach. Put me in, coach. I'll hit him with the dummy. Yeah. Tapia Cook Savage has come up with some big moments for New Zealand this weekend. None yes, he has. Miss. Yes, he has. New Zealand defense exemplary down the stretch here in the cup semi. Oh my God! Cook Savage, Tony Nashu in his comeback tournament. Oh, Gooseys! Gooseys! Tony House! Put me in, coach. I'll hit the goosey. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me lately, dog. I just been silly vibes, bro. I think I'm just happy I got my YouTube channel back, to be honest with you. That's pretty much probably it right there. Put me in, coach. I'll hit the goosey. <laughs> Leading try scorer for the All Black Sevens this weekend. And he can stroll in towards the south stand and confirm New Zealand's place in the Hong Kong Cup final. Well, Australia bending, but not breaking for the moment. I'm not. Ireland, I'll show this. Uh, this for the bronze right here. This for the bronze. Based on the play, I'll probably give it to Ireland. Worked out wide and hitting it a pace. Great work. So as you mentioned, Tom, the kickoff work. He's oh, chase down. down. Who it's can outrun me? Bounces wickedly towards the well, Australian cover. Got him. Damn, he almost kicked his goddamn head off. Bro, he almost kicked his fucking head off, dog. There ain't no rules to that. Grab the ball at your own risk. He almost kicked his damn head off, bro. Like, let's really. Can we really? He's going for another one. The tip and chase. The bounce is wickedly. To... Boy, look at that. He almost need his dome piece, bro. UFC'd his ass. Oh, damn near. Oh, my God, bro. Enter at your own risk. He damn near took one of his pinky fingers off. Holy shit. Towards the Australian cover, but he's popped it through. A second try for Hugo Lennox. Oh, boy. A late reprieve here. They need two tries. Almost took seconds. his dome off. Got the Roach outside him. Kick and chase, why not? Can he get the bounce? Running hard. That heavy bomber. Wow! Hey. Nine seconds up. He's got to quickly take this conversion. I ain't gonna lie. That was clean. I ain't gonna. That was clean. I give him that, bro. I give him that. That was clean. The Irish eyes are smiling here in Hong Kong. They win it 14-5 over Australia. Got the final. See, see, this is why I can't go. My 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 dumb ass take one too many tequila shots. I'll be up in there. Oh 
Oh, it's the game? Oh, do, 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 do. Hey, give me one more. One more before I go down. I be tripping. <laughs> that shit look lit. <laughs> I'll be drunk as hell. I don't want to miss the hawker. <laughs> In HSBC sevens, the Hong Kong final is go. Huge. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The people from Hong Kong showed up. Why is it so many people, dog? Is it because they just do people in Hong Kong just really like sevens, or is it because they don't get that many rugby events throughout the year? So they because like, bro. Out of all the Rugby Sevens events I've seen, this is easily the biggest crowd. Easily. Dog, I was going through YouTube. I was seeing people who just do, got like travel channels who's from China that was at Sevens. They don't even do no rugby content. They was just at Sevens though. Like it's some major event or something. This is like a sold out stadium, bro. LA Sevens, like this, this little section, right? Like from here to like here would be all the people at LA Sevens from what I've seen in the highlights. This is a whole stadium. They got a DJ, dog. They got drums. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Somebody let me know in the comments. Noise inside Hong Kong Stadium. Here come the All Black Sevens. Finney Angonotho. Moses Leo. Oh, steps oh. inside Epe, but Ron Didier again. For France, puts him down. Another penalty to New Zealand. Not rolling away France. Here's Collier. Now Wasted no time. They might be in business. Good Scott. defense from France. But it ain't going to stop him, though. That was good defense, bro. Hey, man, my boy, the 19-year-old homie, 88. Play some great offense, man. But these these defensive these highlights of people scoring tries on you just don't look too good, man. But sorry, right, you nineteen, you gonna figure it out. You gonna figure it out. It happens when you play on the outside, bro. People gonna score tries on you, man. But great effort from New Zealand. Great effort from the defense too. They get the ball away, but it's over the shoulder of Perez and a little scrum half flicks it in Oh, pick six to the house. Brady Rush, Cody Boy scores for New Zealand. Pick six to the house. I'm going home. It's in New Zealand's hands now. Brady Rush with Xavier Tito Harris off the bench coming around the corner. Yo, this is a very physical matchup. I love it. I love it. I love when you got matchups where you actually got scrums, you actually got rucks, you actually got to do real clean outs. There's a lot of defense. Yeah, we all love the running around, but when you running around and you got a lot of physicality in in the matchup, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Counter up from France. And they got it. Joseph. Rebage. Riva. Oh, Scott. Good pass. Yeah, he gone. He gone. We'll score for France. Game. Has scored the try, but New Zealand are Hong Kong Sevens champions for the second year running. Did they say? Did he say second or seventh year? Either way, hey, congrats to New Zealand. They got the dub, bro. They was playing good all weekend. Hey, he mad. He mad. <laughs> the All Black Sevens champions here in Hong Kong. I ain't mad at it. Well, they say it's big. Okay, so we got the standards right here. I was going to go to the other page. All right, so look. Argentina number one. Ireland's, Ireland is second. Fiji's third. France is fourth. Okay. Uh, France is fourth. New Zealand, fifth. Australia, sixth. South Africa, seventh. So the standards are pretty much the same. Yo, Australia's plus and minus is crazy to be in sixth place. But, uh, 
USA, we have not qualified for 2025 yet. I don't know how I feel about that. Basically, if Great Britain was to get like gold, they got Singapore next time. So next next week it's in Singapore, I believe. And if Great Britain gets like silver or something, right, or like gold, and we don't even we get like two or three points, four points, something like that, they'll pretty much go over us. Even Spain could go over us, and we could drop down to like tenth, eleventh place. And then if that happens. Then we have to go to the, uh, there's like a play-in tournament to see which teams are going to qualify for 2025. So we would have to go in that tournament and have to fight it out. But if we can remain in eighth place after Singapore sevens, we have to do well in Singapore, then we will go into the uh, Madrid, like it's like a playoff tournament. So we'd probably face Argentina, probably lose. But whatever, all the teams will just play to see who go, who wins the championship for uh 2025, and I believe that's in Madrid. Yeah, in Madrid. So Madrid sevens after Singapore. The top eight teams will compete in a uh, playoff. So we gotta do well in Singapore, dog. I'm really gonna be looking out for us. Hopefully, hopefully we uh, do all right. Singapore is gonna be. When is Singapore? Is there a date? May third to May fifth. So. About three weeks, we'll have Singapore Sevens. I'll be excited to uh, check that one out. Y'all let me know how you feel in the comments, man. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe, man. Let me know what you think. Um, and who you think is going to win the whole tournament? That's a, you know. Or who you think is going to win Singapore? Or who you think is going to make it to the top eight? Do you think USA is going to make it to the top eight? Or do you think Great Britain or Spain is going to take that spot from them? Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone next time. Peace.